Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever. I'm sorry it's been so long. Um, so much has been going on. I don't really want to share too, too much. Not until I know everything goes through 110%. Um, as you can tell, I'm still in the same room I was in before. Um, just so much is changing it's pretty freaking amazing i'm actually gonna um be doing my makeup real quick while i talk to you guys i know it's been a while and um i don't know hopefully you guys can hear me i know dumb dog outside it's like always barking if you follow me on instagram you've seen me post about this dang dog i swear he barks all the time like he doesn't ever stop i don't understand it like what's going on um but yeah hopefully you guys can hear me um, I'm actually watching Pocahontas right now. <laughs> um, hopefully that's not too loud. And I do have my fan going, so, um, fingers crossed you guys can hear me. But anyways, um, I was gonna sit here and play with my makeup, and I thought, well, I'll just record, um, to talk to you guys for a little bit, and hopefully, um, this video goes okay. And you guys can see everything, but anyways. I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to do like a subtle pink eye. I've been wanting to play with my Naked um, 3 palette. I just haven't had the chance to. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to play with it. But um, how have you guys been? What have you guys been up to? Leave it in the comment box. I know I have a follower. I'm not sure. Um, I know I have a follower on Instagram that follows me. And I'm not sure... Um, what's your youtube name but hey girl i'm sorry i've been gone forever um thank you for following me on instagram and for being so sweet and understanding um yeah hi but anywho um she's always telling me she loves my videos and that she um she's missing what's going on with me or whatever but i guess um i'm just gonna like touch bases on what's been happening with my technical stuff so i did get a new camera and for some reason it's defective or I don't know, something happened with it that it just didn't, um, it's just not working. It's not working properly. And so I'm waiting for it to get returned and so hopefully I can have a good quality for you guys um, pretty soon. Um, also, I my laptop, I posted it on Instagram maybe, but my laptop just like completely died on me. I don't understand what happened to it. It just like, it just doesn't work it just didn't turn on for a while um i'm I am getting fixed so when that gets back um hopefully i can get more videos up because i miss making videos i have like this oops knock this stuff over i have this like weird thing where i like talking to you guys um i know i don't remember who it was i think it was my dad I, he walked in on me walk one day and i was um making a video and he's like who are you talking to <laughs> i'm just like um YouTube <laughs> and um yeah it was kind of awkward but whatever I know that he's seen a video of mine and he's like what do you do on there like why are you talking to yourself um it's just you'll never understand something I really like doing I think it's it's something that I really truly enjoy doing I have okay so anywho I do have a couple videos that I've been like I can't wait to film for you guys because um, they're pretty exciting for me. I do. I'm gonna have a new change of scenery. Like I said, I have a new camera that I'm waiting on getting back. My laptop's getting wait, waiting on getting that back. Um, so it's, I'm just like playing the waiting game right now. I have one more week till uh, a new opportunity opens up to me, and I'm kind of excited and nervous at the same time. Uh, I know that I'll be able to do it. It's just um, something completely, not completely different. It's just, I mean, I've done this before, but it's just something different. It's something new. It's a new opportunity. So I'm really, really excited about. I'm also like slowly starting to get my makeup and vanity room fixed and, you know, organized the way I like it. But like I said, I'm going to be moving. So I'm really not trying to focus too much on that. What else has been happening? Let's see. Um, so that's what's going on with my my um what's up, my YouTube channel. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I have been like keeping posts up on. I've been 
yeah sorry like i said this is gonna be recorded on my phone oh god <laughs> break everything before the episode before the thing airs but anywho um i just put all kinds of makeup brushes away and i have no idea where i left them but i am pretty excited about all these new changes um i know i was doing that's another thing i want to touch bases on i know i was doing the what's it called um 100 what's it called give it 100 i am proud to say that i did lose some weight on that i'm still going strong on it um but I tried to upload every day on here and it wasn't letting me. Um, I have like four, five, six videos, I don't even know how many, where um, they are, it says I cannot, what does it say? Something like I cannot load or won't load or no, not processing or some, some mess. Um, but yeah, so I have no idea why that happened, but that's not really cool. And I have been dealing, um, like I said, I didn't have my internet and stuff um, going and it wasn't working correctly for a good minute. So um, hopefully, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, by the end, what are we in August, September, by October 1st, all my networks will be completely working. All my new projects would be, um, you know, on their way already and just everything just falls into place. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that um, I started this, the Give It a Hundred, no, yeah, Give It a Hundred or something, I don't even remember the actual name of it, but I started that challenge for a couple reasons, right? I started because I wanted to be more accountable of my health, for one. Two, um, I have... I, me and my husband, my husband, have been talking about on and off about conceiving, right? Um, for a long time, I was just really not, not 100% like into the idea. And I think one of the main reasons why I wasn't like so into it or up for it was because um, I know you guys understand that I do have PCOS. Um, the ladies that watch me, you guys know that I have PCOS. And um, I think in some way, me saying I don't want kids right now or me like stopping or saying I'm not going to try to have kids is in some way I'm like, it's like a, a defense mechanism in some form because if I say it out loud that I don't want kids, then when I don't end up pregnant, I'm not so upset about it. Does that make sense to you guys? And I feel like I do that and I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be afraid to not be, I don't want to be afraid of not being able to have a baby. That's my thing. And I, and I am, I'm afraid, I'm like really, really scared of not being able to conceive and I don't want to get too into it because um, I'm such a big baby that I'll probably start crying. Um, but I don't want to continue living like that, continue living like I'm I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna say forever I never want to have kids because I don't want that chance or that risk of actually not being able to conceive and, uh, you know, going through those emotions and um, that heartbreak of not being able to do something that I feel like it's like every woman's job, pretty much. Like, that's what we were born to do is to have and to have children and to, you know, populate the world. <laughs> But um, I just feel like I'm, I've been afraid for so long. And I always tell my husband, he just tells me, you're going to be a wonderful mom. You know, don't think about it. Don't stress on it. Uh, if it happens, it happens. And I just feel like I don't want to let not only myself down, but let him down. Even though he doesn't even pressure me, to be honest with you guys. Sorry, I'm making this. He never, he has never pressured me. He has never told me. Um, I mean, I know he wants children and um, he is such an like amazing person with kids that I know he's gonna be a wonderful father I just I don't know I'm like scared but I don't want to be scared anymore you guys so I'm gonna I was gonna make a whole video about it but I guess I'll just talk about it now and then if anybody cares to hear the full story or you know what changed my mind or whatever I'll go ahead and post it then um you guys can leave that in the comments and if this video hopefully goes up 
but um yeah um me and my husband have actually decided to um officially like start trying and i say officially because i don't like i said i'm scared of not being able to um we're gonna officially start trying to conceive in um in january of next year and um you know hopefully hopefully something happens and things go well and you know i'm able to conceive i have i'm starting to take precautions like towards that we have gotten on um some insurance now which is wonderful because i know i'm trying to look for like the best options for us to be able to you know get the medications we need and um, prescriptions we need to be able to help with conceiving so I believe starting in January um, if everything goes correct um, I will start taking um, fertility pills and I'm kind of nervous about those if I know one of the main things that was wrong with me was that I was not ovulating before and um, I've actually gotten back on medication for my for my PCOS and slowly I am beginning to ovulate on my own so that is one of the reasons why we said we weren't going to officially start till January because um, I know that was one of the main problems that I had that I wasn't ovulating in the past and I wasn't getting my menstrual cycle. So um, hopefully with this um, PCS medication I'm taking, um, things will, will get a little bit better and my cycle will get, um, you know, will get back on track. and. I won't have to go through the extra process of um, trying to conceive and taking medication pills and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been dealing with. Um, aside from that, what else has been going on? We are um, looking into getting a new car. Um, and I'm not really sure how we're going to go about this. Because I've honestly never bought like a brand new car. I've always bought used cars because I'm not the kind of girl that I need like the fanciest things. Um, just because I honestly just need something to get me from point A to point B. And that's really what it is, right? Um, and I don't know what to do or like if I should go through a dealership or if it's better just to find somebody. Um, you know, just look for somebody who can help us with that or what exactly to do i'm like confused if you guys know anything about that please let me know because i can sure use the help all the help and advice i can get um another thing i wanted to touch bases on with you guys so i know that um this whole thing with um pcls like i know that there's i mean i've done my research and stuff of course but I know that there's um, things that you can take and do like medically to promote ovulation and to make things more regular for you guys or for us, um, not you guys. But um, I was just kind of curious to know if you guys had any like tips or advice on different maybe teas you take for ovulation or um, different home remedies, maybe certain foods um, that are PCOS friendly, um, certain diets, like not necessarily to get skinny diets, but like healthy diets, you know what I'm saying? Like things that'll promote better health, which is my main goal overall is I want to get healthier. Um, I am going to do an updated um, video here shortly on how much, how the give it 100 challenge has been going for me because i am pretty excited with the results i've been getting so far um so i know that it's been taking a while and a lot of my um family has told me that they were noticing like me slimming down here and there and i'm just like i don't see it until i get on the scale or when i try on a certain pair of jeans that are like really really loose on me now and um but you know i don't know i'm kind of excited I'm just like so proud of myself for just deciding to get myself healthier, which was like ultimately the main goal is I didn't want to be unhealthy anymore. I don't want, not just because I'm trying to conceive next year, but because, you know, I don't want to live an unhealthy life. I want to be healthier so that when my children 
come. They, they're going to have a healthy mom that they can play with and that she can chase after them and not just, you know, get tired and whatever. So, yeah, we have a lot of, a lot has been happening lately and, yeah, I'm just like excited for all the new things that are coming my way and all the changes that are happening and the healthy, healthiness, health, being on a healthy track in other words. But, um, what else is there to talk to you guys about? I know I had something, and I've been saying I can't wait to get on YouTube to tell you guys. I can't even think about it. What in the world was it? Um. Hmm. Darn, I can't think of it. But I don't know. I do you guys do that? Do you guys ever get off track? Do you guys? I'm not horrible at it. I am really, really bad, honestly. And I hope talking to you guys about something, and I guarantee you guys, a lot of times in my videos, I will edit it out because I'll be telling you guys one thing, and then I just completely get off track. Am I even using the right palette? <gasps> I'm not using the right palette. You see that? You see that? I said, what did I say when I started the video? I was going to use the Naked 3, and I'm using the Naked 2. And I was looking at the colors. I was like, why isn't it as pink as I thought it was going to be? Whatever. It happens, right? Um, it looks like it's going to come out okay anyway, so the colors worked out. But anywho, um, yeah, what else have you guys been up to? Um, how are you guys doing on your health, you know, on your guys' own journeys? Um, I know when I started this video, I started doing, um, PCOS videos, and which is what I, why I mainly started doing this channel was because I have... Not only am I dealing with PCOS, like most of you guys, but I have a lot.